Well, I'm out here. As I said, I almost burnt my Saracenas to death. I uh, double the amount by accident and almost burnt them, but they're coming back slowly. You can see you've got new growth there, happening there. And also with the, the perp in there, you can see there, so, you know, and the flowers starting to come on with the new growth there. So, you know, we're making slow but steady progress. But to what I've got onto now is I've improved the, the watering technique by um, putting newspaper here and it's yeah I've, I've tried using a knife and cutting you know, getting folding this paper like this and just cutting it down like that very good easy that's probably all you really need but I I like the idea of doubling up it once more so you just just it's much easier just to just fold it over and what we'll do here is we'll move this pot out the way which we'll try and do now let's put the camera up there like that so you can see it. and we'll move this one out the way and you can either just put it like that or like that probably better to do that you get more more cool air going in between the pots that way and, and just put the, the pot back down on there like that and basically you uh, you just get your watering can and you water it in and it will um, and you water it in until it gets to the top it will, it, will, it will start to go in a bit and then you fill it up again until it saturates like that as you can probably see and just let it slowly and it will just slowly soak down and come out here out the slot and it will wet eventually after say, one or two days it, the whole newspaper will get damp and it's cool cool to the touch so it'll keep the roots cool down the bottom so uh, and it retains enough moisture for one whole day so uh, it's a uh, there's always a constant slow steady flow of uh, water going through the bucket it keeps the whole bucket reasonably cool kicks the roots down there really cool and um, slowly any salts will resolve over a long th length of time and be washed out if there's any residual salts at all so uh, yeah we'll keep an eye on it and I'll s watch how it progresses over the season but as I said I, I almost killed these things but uh, as you can tell, I'm dead honest because I'm showing you that I almost killed the things, and they almost crisp, crisped up there. Yeah. So uh, anyway, we'll keep an eye on them over the the rest of the uh, summer season. They always have a second flush of pictures, so we'll see how that goes. But as you can see, it, they're coming back. As you can see with the new growth out of there, so we might see a few surprises, and there's some new growth starting to happen down there as well. So even though one of the pictures got eaten off by something down there, but. Uh, they're starting to expand but I think what it was is I just wasn't keeping them wet enough trying to you know keep the rot away from these plants I was keeping them slightly too dry but with this new technique I think I'm gonna get another win-win easy cheap everyone you know you can buy a bloody newspaper every day so every day you can do another pot sort of thing and you can forget your neighbors newspaper or or find other newspapers around the neighborhood and, you, and as I said you don't have to do the whole thing you can do you can get two pots out of one if you want to do it that way and it's very easy just using a knife like that so uh, that's not a knife <laughs> yes it is and uh, we'll see how it goes but uh, yeah I think we'll go all right but as I said I'm, I'm what I'm tending head to head towards now with all this uh, uh, learning about the flammable gas production is to actually get a pot like this fill it up to about halfway with charcoal and, and just fill it up with sort of small pieces of charcoal probably I don't know a bit less than that actually probably little bits of charcoal about this size and just for the whole half of a pot up with something about that size size of a fingernail basically you know cubic size of a fingernail up there and then probably fill the rest up with um, <coughs> popcorn <coughs> popcorn <coughs> and that's the popcorn degrades <coughs> the degrading <laughs> carbohydrates will go down into the charcoal <coughs> excuse me and gener <coughs> generate <coughs> reductive flammable gas which will stop the, hopefully, stop the um, popcorn from <coughs> degrading and rotting and things like that. But also, I think I've noticed from some of my, some of my containers that it appears that the popcorn seems to be able to retain some of the flammable gas actually in inside its internal structure. Because it looks like it's got no gas, you give it a flick and you can see the little bubbles come out of the, the popcorn chunks. But uh, that's only tentative at the moment, but it, that, 
seems to be what's happening so uh, we'll see how we go with that idea but I'll set one up in the next you know, probably just before Christmas I think I'll, I'll, I'll set up I'll get a I'll buy another bucket and set it up with charcoal in the bottom popcorn in the top and we'll see how we go and um, yeah we might get us uh, and I'll try and grow some uh, capes in it or something like this out here in this sort of situation but grow some capes and we'll see if we can double the size of a cave or something like that okay over and out